Nat play one of the seeds. He is the number one you don't want to play, I guess. But of course, Stephen, he was in this position at the World Championship, wasn't he? And a lot of people felt he would come through. He didn't. Yeah, exactly that. That was exactly what I was about to say. We all saw... The run at the British Open just came at the perfect time for Oliver, in my opinion. He just needed something to just spark, except the fact that he does belong on the snooker tour and he is a, is a good player and on his day. Neil Robertson has won a tournament this season. That's why it feels Jacques Don, Chris Wakelin doing well in the international championship has pushed him back out again. It just shows how competitive it is when you, you, know, you can win a ranking group final. Very emotional at the end of that. So I know he's feeling good about his game. He's got to try and get the job done here. playing the attacking shot as he always does and they've split quite nicely and I felt he gave Neil a little bit too much respect in that game he comes here with a different mindset well there's the answer and he sort of got away with it a little, but... Back to the table so soon. Well, of course, we love to hear from snooker fans all around the world. Brilliant red from Oliver there. He's found one. Needs that cue ball to pull up. Whoa. We'll be back tonight. We've had a message in from Highlands Bunker on... X saying, watching from Wilmington, Delaware. You he wants to really secure his place, not sort of get dragged into that every other year. As Robertson finds one. Yeah, obviously Oliver kept his card. Position to kick on from now, which is great. But you don't want to leave all the hard work until that second season. We've all been there. It's not a nice place to be. Well, in fact, he didn't make a century. He broke down on uh, 96, but Matthew yeah. Stevens won. We were at the Barbican in York. Brilliant venue. Well, he's pulled out another good long red. It's bits and pieces, really, just trying to protect a lead, push the green, or try and push it safe-ish. Well, he's going to get a go another long red here. It's a great win, uh, Stephen, earlier for another the for Sanderson. He, he's actually playing some really, really nice stuff. Obviously, he's sort of cemented himself just inside that top 64 bracket of players and made a century break in that decider. Brilliant win against Yuan Sijun. Now this red. Oh. He'd have loved a nice angle. He'd love to catch the two reds closest together if he could. Yeah, not quite able to, but he's pushed one into play. Plenty of work to be done here. red and one more black will be mathematically enough for Neil Robertson so it's about really applying himself here he's concentrated well I think during this scrappy frame
Well, there'll be no play not the end of this frame. The good thing, I think, if there's a nice, uh, nice stage, this table one. Yeah, it's all side of the arena is brilliant. Stan Moody, a 138 total clearance in frame two. So. I think it is different to when he had to play in the Worms. You know, he's won a trophy. Sort of vagaries of the rankings with points coming off haven't helped him, maybe, but. Listen, everybody knows. A champion. Like a grenade in the drawer, isn't he, if he qualifies? Ready to explode in York against one of the. Took some win in this frame, but he has won it, and I think it. So Thursday, I think it is. But anyway, Oliver Lyons have got plenty to say about that. Yeah, just on the tickets theme, this uh, ticket. Well, that. Night made his hundredth. Neil Robertson's made 79 in this tournament, no. including a maximum. I always think with that, let's hope he does it in a big arena. You know, I mean, with all due respect, again, last week when he actually beat Trump in the Champions, you know, it's p I think people enjoy to see a bit of emotion. Best way to describe it, and Neil's certainly one of them. The adrenaline as it builds and the pressure that you have out there that release when you get over the winning line. Or if you're not, as soon as you've shook hands with your opponent and the referee. Sir. He's from a good snooker stock, Chris Toth, and he's from Wishaw. If he likes a kebab and a game of bingo, then he's got Mark Williams ticked off as well, hasn't he? <laughs> Let's try and put that right. That most is pretty much the carbon copy of what Oliver has. It's got stood in the way of what he wants. mistake from Oliver which isn't very pleasing it can sort of allow for, for anything to happen you, you're out of control then and Neil has done what he pretty much all can take a step closer to becoming fourth to a thousand here I mean he learnt the game in Australia on, on club tapped had a couple of spells on tour before coming back for the third time. It is on his table when he wasn't using it, which was a, a tournament standard table. So that's how he sort of... So it's another one for the collection, 162. Scrappy opener, but Neil Robertson has now hit his stride. Yeah, classy contribute on Tepshire, are Dave? Well, I mean, they call Ronnie O'Sullivan an, an enigma, but I mean, Ronnie's won everything in the game multiple times. Tepshire knew you watch him sometimes, you think, oh, he must be in the top, literally the top four in the world, the way he plays. But then he goes missed. But clearly, Oliver Lyons, having sat out that century, didn't want to offer up an. Working the puzzle out here, Neil. 
not how to get into that pack. Right corner. Yeah, that looks about perfect. And I'll be out with it. Into the reds. And again, he just hasn't got enough purchase on it that time, but you could... So Robertson, I'm sure disappointed there, but he knows he's on top right now. He's keeping the pressure on Oliver Lyons. And the tables are quick, but they're not that quick. So finally, a good chance for Oliver to get his arm going in this game. He's oh. a rare unforced error. Just to try and play his way into a little bit of rhythm. He hasn't had all that much. Cue ball control this break. 50. Yeah, you could hear the little tutters. International Championship semi final, didn't you? And we beat him. Well, those you played a great. Skin feeding off a few errors, it's got to be said, from Oliver Lyons as well. <coughs> he won so far, anyway, his third title. That was uh, the lockdown UK Championship, no audience. Very late fit. Absolute epic final that was. And the interesting thing as well about since then, Neil hasn't won since that win. He hasn't done very well at the Barbican. Now, is he on this black? Body language suggests. Yeah, Robertson. Yeah, and one that he hasn't got close to again. Oh, is the red in? Wow, look at that. Another unbelievable brave shot. And a shot he's knocked in very confidently. That's a brilliant shot from Oliver. If he misses... At the snooker, fluked it. 3-0, went on to win the match, of course. So he will need that final black. We credit for being brave and standing up. Playing the positive shot, backing himself. That brown does it. In the frame. So Neil Robertson can get in. The rest was all skill. Oliver Lyons clears. And it was a frame he desperately needed to win. Neil, not the sort of person you want to give a big lead away to. It's a long one by that distance, although it was pretty awkward queuing. Having to take the more difficult yellow. To play it with left hand side as well to keep the cue ball down this left side of the table nicely recovered <coughs> to near pace didn't quite catch it as crisp as he would have liked Ten. 
to Oliver. Got that frame on the board now. Feels like he's settled. Just starting to find his stride again. Still a very long way to go in this match. That's the beauty of these best 11s. You know, Pang Zheng is a very tough opponent, but Moody seems to be playing more quickly than he was yesterday. And, well, looking very confident. Yeah, there was a bit of controversy in that match yesterday with Stan slow about Stan's performance today. He's looked very nice. Scoring as he does, he's not a slight player. Performance this evening. So back to the ball game. We've had some uh, messages come in here. Brian McGovern says, I'm wondering whether Ben rated. Oh, that's to be celebrated. What a pot that is. Brilliant. Absolutely superb. Yeah, I mean, I think you can only do the best you can do. If you've given it everything, whether you... W I don't know. That's a, that's a good question, actually. I, I suppose you could probably put Matthew Stevens in that camp. Hey, what he was a terrific player. I mean, he still plays now, but he has some great wins over some really big names. With that, maybe. Well, he was still on one. It was more difficult than the one he wanted to be on. So, well, I mean, again. frame already just looking to put the finishing touches to it and we were leaving that black ball well alone happy enough to work off the pink for now pink and blue available here he would feel golden wouldn't it 2-2 two -two for Ollie asked about changes Neil Folds actually his was not a rule change he wanted anyone to hand the phone in before play began <laughs> which is a it's a very interesting concept that and it'd be It'd be very interesting to see how it actually played out because, you know, getting someone... You know, you could get another basically 12 points out of it. He said maybe that's the way forward. It's a bit radical, but uh, the problem with changing things is, you know, you... A lot of talk about the shot clock to try and introduce one of them to every event. I'm not too sure about that. Well, imagine it here now, four... I think he's looked really confident, which and that makes a big difference to seeing Neil with that sort of demeanour around the table. He sort of struts around, doesn't he, as if he owns the place, Neil, and great to see because he is full of confidence and why shouldn't you show that? You know, half the battle is feeling good out there and Oliver's had some results to back that up this season. This is very much game on now. Part of it as well. All sets it up nicely for when we return, as we will do. You know, the flute and, and bad, bad bit of running, but then it's about how your opponent picks up on that. And Lines has really got on the front foot. Try and get to York. And of course, he could win the UK Championship, but at the very least, by the end of the UK Championship, be in the top 16 for the Masters. Leicester, he'll miss two of our biggest events, of course, having not been at the Crucible either with the World Championship. Very interesting match. Neil Robertson for two and a half frames was looking really good. But entertaining thoughts of an early night. As it is, it's level. Yeah, just putting that fluke aside, the, the next 11 minutes with nothing potted. Surely that's going to end here. Scoring chance this now for Neil. Just finding his way in this break, just trying to tidy the frame up a fraction and Five. get his cue all back down this biz.
Olympics, so there were certain non-British players who couldn't play in it. It was very much a UK championship. In the end, he's just taking his medicine and accept. Well, no issues at all. Hopkins over there on table two. And this has been good stuff from Robertson as well. The interval maybe just helped. Very nicely played that from Neil. Took the again, just opens them up. Nicely done, and now is an This is no doubt when Neil is at nice rhythm around the table. He sort of quite mesmerizing to watch, isn't he? How he's can be very intimidating. Part of that intimidation actually comes from the. It just looks completely full of confidence all the time. You know, none of it really matters, sort of thing. Both very effective in their own right. Anyway, this has been an effective break. That black gets him to 70 with six. Was left that one to right middle, this pocket, and has ploughed on nicely. Has his chance to make a second century in the match. Well, got a question actually for you events that can get me back onto the main tour so I've not really bothered too much with a lot of the pro-ams and, and a few of focusing my efforts on the events that can give me a direct path back to the pro circuit dive view of the, of the screen here and when you're at the arenas you, s you see the game from a Yeah, he's grafted really hard for massive frame on table four. Stan Moody four one up on Pang Jung Zhu, seven in front on the blue, so Pang has potted blue, pink and black to win that frame I mentioned, so four. Meanwhile, that pink puts Neil over the half-century mark for this contra... It's been a really good break, this, actually. There's been a number of times... Absolutely certain that he knows exactly what shot he's going to play, but make it four two. Six, seven. So two very good frames, for Oliver Lines. Not to be, but 74 will do nicely. Really had to work up. A 
I basically got pumped and it, it wasn't all that enjoyable in the end. And of course, back then, if you didn't win matches, you know, you weren't getting any. See both sides to it, but I, I think I do prefer these qualifiers purely from that perspective. Great red from Robertson. Couldn't quite hold. I think really should be. Yeah, horrible place to be actually out the back, especially when you can hear the roar of the crowd through the wall pretty much, knowing that... Every Could be one. We'll see what lines can make from it. difference it was not an easy pot by no means <laughs> crucible well uh, whoever's had that bet, I hope it comes. I hope it comes in. I hope it comes true because wouldn't that be a story? You know, she's still got the chance. Of it's not just sort of generally people milling about. Now Oliver Lines is going to have to start taking some of these chances soon. Got the red get nicer on the blue. He sort of toyed with the idea to take it onto the corner pocket, but to take any risks, okay, he may have knocked that blue in, but again, just the first couple of reds available for Ollie before he needs to really do any damage to the... Oh, dear. Well, if he's, if he's managed... Yeah, so he hadn't done. I, I did look at Neil there, and he didn't seem to react at all, which suggested he was on one. He's just taken a moment or two to work it out. He struck that one lovely, though. Just hit the ball with... all the matches as well in their entirety. Yeah, I mean, he could have left that easier, couldn't he? He had to get the rest out and it didn't look a lot of fun. Still kind of expected problems and he was ultimately found out there. Again, sometimes the balls can dictate and it can run. Well, I mean, he's just hit that all wrong. Playing well, but that spell two years ago when he won those three tournaments, that was godlike snooker. That was a nice... It's a good chance to get back into this frame for Oliver. Meanwhile, Stan Moody is still going very... Well with 60 points in front to close the gap to 4-3. Massive frames. Here, he's got a couple of safe red lines, but he could easily have lost the frame by now. Maybe. So now the hard work really begins for Ollie the middle and try and screw the cue ball into the black. Say Moody needs the pink for Moody. Big shot here from lines, not quite on target, but the frame is still in the balance. Red in, find the low angle on that green. Off the cushion. Use the brown instead, and he's hit it sweet. Has he got there? Has the red got there? I.
Yeah, it was a really good effort, wasn't it? And uh, well, that could have been 4-3. Had it means that he will come back to the table with still a possibility to win this frame. Regardless, didn't wrap up that frame. Well, he has to pot the yellow first. Two. As he thunders in the green, trying to get close to it. Yeah, 14 in front. It's a real battle, a scrap really going on. In the early throws of that eighth frame, 5-2 up on Pang Zhang Zhu. And in goes the brown and a basic blue to... It's looking like 4-3, and this now really is anyone's. Talked about earlier getting to York, the Masters place, all of that on the line, basically there. Black off the spot, and he's potted it. And he has played quick tonight. We're talking about Robertson. He got sort of warned yesterday, late on in that in a very slow match, it's got to be said. Seems to have taken that on. Has first dibs in this one. He must sense an opportunity here now. You know, it's, it is a cliche that it's a big frame. But that last one lost it, but it was a bit of a marathon. Might have just affected his rhythm. It just opens the door a little bit for Oliver Lines. Crunch frames. Remember that clearance he made earlier on in frame three? A visit to the table he just has to take advantage of. The reds have been spread from... Got to try and just keep this as simple as possible. Doesn't need to overcomplicate things. This situation, he likes to keep a good rhythm. See the shot, play the shot. Three. Well, speaking of which, Hilda Moens, who do Scott Donaldson buy you Lou, because they're about to start us on Discovery Plus. For view, would have been any score, really. Alarm bells ringing for Neil, but he'll be slightly concerned. And I think this is the reason why not many players enjoy a type of frame like this, out of options. And it was Oliver that managed. Played that night. Well, I know you enjoy stats, Stephen. Wouldn't this be a great time to make another one? At such a critical stage. Yeah. Who can make the most centuries this season? I think Oliver currently leads that by one. So it's over the line. It's getting over the line, getting that win. That's all that matters. Yeah, nice pot. Five. The line's importantly for him. It doesn't matter what time it is for him. He's still very much in this match. Not just the score. Still on to make this century. He made a hundred and... Well, 
Oh, nicely done. He's trying to sort of recycle things. He's a big pink if he's going to make the ton, but... He li oh, got close to it, but not to be. 83, though. And it's game on again here. Oliver Lines is... Touching on, obviously, Joe in Neil's corner. Still got a match of his own to worry about this evening. struck it lovely he needs a bit of help here he looks to get it he has done he's had a favorable count into them oh but you can't miss the black it's a good job he didn't split the reds nice Sensing a big opportunity here to land a big scalp. Fired it in from a very acute angle. One of the best shots he's played all no. game. And a very... He's wanting to see out this match, Ollie. He's trying to get the flow back into this match. Just get on with... But as <laughs> we've already alluded to, it's that time of night in these qualifiers. Yes, and it can easily become the twitching hour, but uh, Lyons looking positive as a certain situation with the rankings and all the rest of it, the Masters. As you're watching here between Neil Robertson and Oliver Lyons. world in one of the biggest tournaments that could not have worked but what's been important and what a time to hit the front foot for Oliver he hasn't been ahead one clear that man there, Neil Robertson, with it all to do. Leave Scott Donaldson needing a snooker in that ninth frame. It'll be 5 4 to Donaldson if she can pot it. Barring snooker. And she's actually missed it. So <laughs> we've had so many close frames there. You wouldn't want to say what's going to happen next, but she is. Uh, really dominated the, the last two frames, Ollie, so give him plenty of the next frame. He started hitting it sweet. You know, if you didn't know any better, you'd think he was the, you know, the, the sort of higher ranked player of the two, the winner yeah, of tournaments. So just enough on for 100 exactly. Just a really assured Robertson firmly in that seat. So this black then it'll only be the second century he's ever. It just
just feels like Oliver Lyons is tough to book his place into the judgment day. Although he's most certainly not out of the waters just yet. When you've got a player of Neil Robertson's chance in this frame. Well, we remember how he fought for his third UK title. We mentioned it earlier, four years ago against Joe. Great building. Hasn't been as tidy as we often see. The odd shot. But of course, he backs himself to pot those pressure. in here we know he's got the quality to well he believes he missed the red no. He's found one there in amongst them. Yeah, and we've seen the last two frames. With the damage he's done in that in it one. If you're just sort of switching on after a night out, he's made breaks of 83. Slightly lost his cue ball. He's up the table, but yeah, that's perfect. Oh, big moment. Seventeen. Yeah, and it's important for Oliver to. Obviously, the closer you get to the win line, inevitably. Everything was rosy, wasn't it? In Brentwood at that English Open. It got back in the top 16, but... Well, that only just dropped. That was a bit... his hand is may not have that angle just to try and get on both of those reds he didn't just played for the loose one beneath but any shot at it will do and he's dealt with that one okay needs an angle on this black 46. and he's got the right uh, so much so that he's decided to not oh entertain right. it 46. push the color safe for a little bit of insurance Make it as easy as possible. Well, here we go. In, In it goes, though. Every credit, terrific clearance, and Neil Robert.
and he's crunched that one in. What a pot from Oliver Lines. Great long pot, but he can get control of the table, although that's a very poor safety shot. Well, Lines can scarcely believe he's back at the table so soon. Has to steady himself. Centre professional David Grace is tuned in, locked in. Centre you get these matches. I'm sure David's been involved in a few down the years. I wish we could say the same. Wired here, and things can go wrong when the cube has got to travel. At the moment, I don't booked. You know, you'd still expect him to get close to it. In fact, he did. Donaldson and Bayou Lou, so she's won the first two as the Women's World Champion of the night. Of course, they had to come back after many hours. It's a very, very confident pot, isn't it? I mean, at any stage, actually, but in a decider. Well, it'll take this if it bounces. He doesn't want to land on those two reds now. Has he got a red? Again, played it well, right in the heart. And has he got the angle to drop the now, Ollie? Just ha a chance of being nice on his next ball. Well. Well, it's come a little... And a lot of the big storylines of these big events are actually from the qualifiers. It's... <laughs> to that stage. Well, he's just not as a left-handed player. That's not the end of the world. Red down the, the black cushion is two shots time. He could unlock this break still. Don't think Ollie will be sat very comfortably at all for Ollie. Well, he's played for the low pink to leave himself the angle detained by anything. Just the roll up. Neil Robertson as Ben Wollaston's going to level up five each with Joe Perry. Green and Brown. Oh, he's played that so well. He did been in doubt. Lines peeping round here, seeing the brown go in. He needs the blue and he'll be 15 in front. But it looks like Neil Robertson is going to survive into the final qualifying round of the UK Championship. The pink's going in and Neil Robertson is going into...